Are you one of the 27% that reports chronic sleep issues? Did you know that about 68% or approximately 164 million Americans struggled with sleep at least once a week? Are you aware 37% of all percentages are completely made up? Do you also know that 15% of people sleepwalk their way into listening to this episode? Bet you didn't. Well, we're the cure for your insomnia and constipation. So tonight, for Potchke and company, they take you on the most unusual case. Meanwhile, a lucrative side business for Flockski's empire might just get exposed. Will the heroes save the day? Will the villains oversleep? Why don't we listen in? Are you tired of getting a bad night's sleep at the office? Does your chair bed sink like a wet taco in the middle? When was the last time you rotated your desk chair? Speaking of chairs, I bet yours creaks like the elderly running a marathon. Well, don't spend thousands of dollars on those other adjustable chair beds. No more sweat stains or bodily fluids soaked into these seats. Not ever again. I never had a sweat-free chair bed like this before. Amazing! Come down to Tim Couches and Chairs. Take a spin and sleep at the same time. Children not welcome. Additional fees can and will apply to all purchases. Tim Couches and Chairs is not responsible for manufacturer's claims and takes no liability for loss of memory or in some cases death. Chair beds! Oh God, not you. Not here. Do I know you? <laughs> Seriously. Yeah, nothing comes to mind. I'm great with names, moles, and hairlines, stretch marks, scars, and especially lazy eyes. Of course you are. Were you the girl who vomited on the red line bus the other day? No, I did not vomit on the red line bus the other day, Pachki. It's a me. As me, Esme Stein, the famous South African lawn bowler, in this store? You know what? I don't have time for this. What the hell was that about? Someone's got a real yard on for me. He's got two thumbs and it's not interested. This guy. Okay, back to business. Lots of chair beds to choose from? What would Nebish like? Oh, so many choices and only one Tachas. So this is the top of the line chair bed. We had a sleeper sofa before. Yeah, and our kids drew all over it. It was a nightmare to clean. I'm sorry to hear about that your previous supposed to furniture issues. At Tim Couches and Chairs, all our furniture comes with our 0% money back guarantee. Psst! I'd read the fine print if I were you. I once signed up for a gym membership, and when I tried to quit, they put a lien on my house. That's not right. You're telling me. I had to remove that leaning column off my house all by myself. Ironically, I won best glutes in the tri-state area that summer. You're an idiot. Sir, I'll be with you in a moment. I'm still helping this fine couple. Always check the user reviews. What did you say? What? Why did you say that? I always read the reviews. Consumer Reports is my web browser homepage. Sir, please be patient. I'll be over by the hide and seek away beds. Very good. I shouldn't be long. Are you two almost done? My hearing aids and bladder are working overtime today. I'm very sorry, Agnes, but this is imperative. If we don't secure our offices, who knows what evil could surprise us? We still don't know who sent us that meat package. Well, I know Milton Burrow couldn't have sent it. Unless this is 1956. It's not, right? What a meat package he had. If you get my drift, Nebster. It's not and gross. Nepish is right. Agnes, hmm, I once worked at Verizon and I heard a noise coming from one of the server rooms. Was it a hobo living in the crawl space? Absolutely not. It was a guy named Laszlo Hollyfield and he was secretly studying for his final exit exam. Wait a second. That sounds suspiciously like the plot to the movie Real Genius. It wasn't. Sam? Fine. It was. Sue me. Okay, I love Martha Cooley 
watch movies. The Pachki Chronicles Detective Agency. How may I help you? I need to hire your agency. Someone stole something from our fundraiser. I need your help tracking them down. Fun lasers, you say? I'm not sure we're equipped to handle stolen fun lasers. Sounds delightful, though. I'll need to put you on hold. Team, can we track down a fun laser? Woo! Fun lasers! Now we're talking! What kind? Solid state lasers? Gas lasers? Dye lasers? Continuous wave? <gasps> or CW lasers? Helium neon lasers are my favorite. Favorite. Uh, oh, what do I tell them? Ask for more details. I'll need some more information regarding these fun lasers. What else do you need to know about my fundraiser? What do I ask, Sam? Ask if it uses argon, krypton, and or xenon ion. Can I please have the phone? No, this is my job. You do yours. Fair enough. Does this fun laser use argon, krypton, or xenon I non Lasers? I said someone stole from our fundraiser! Oh, a fundraiser. Not a photon laser. <laughs> Power down, Mr. Zulu, okay? That's on me. That does make more sense. Can you guys help us or not? Let me check. What is it? I'm sorry, Nobish. Um, I misunderstood them. They said their fundraiser was robbed. It's nebbish, and we don't do pro bono work. Listen, weirdo. We don't take free jobs, hippie. No deadbeats around here. Cash, scratch off lotto tickets, or gift cards only. Even if they add up a bunch of used ones, we'll take it. Fundraiser, how are we supposed to make any money? The carbon dioxide laser is the most efficient and powerful of all CW lasers. Sam, it wasn't a laser. We made that very clear. What? I got excited. I don't want to install buckets of water above doors for the rest of my life. <laughs> yeah, water. Did you pre-fill the bucket first? No. <sighs> Start again. The family coming over this weekend for a reunion or intervention? The big game group arriving to toss back some brewskis with your buddies. Is the book club staying late? Glub, 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 glub. Your wives are day drinking. Well, at Tim Couches and Chairs, we have all your sitting needs because we know everyone needs a good sit. And we're here to support your bottom line. We have everything your tuchas or tootsies need. From a two-seat love seat, yowza, to a sloped arm sofa sectional. At Tim Couches and Chairs, we have it all. And if you arrive before 10 a.m. this weekend, we have free complimentary breakfast burritos with every purchase of our Belgian arm roll sofa. Burritos are not free. Please read the fine print. Additional burrito fees can and will apply to all purchases. Also, Tim Couches and Chairs is not responsible for manufacturer's claims and takes no liability for misprinted advertisements. Discover card not welcome. Cash preferred. Don't bring the whole family here. Sofa! Let's take this puppy for a spin. Please don't abuse the in-store pets. Please don't take you. Stupid dumb salesman being all hostile. Fine, I'll just try the chair bed. Are you Lester Potchkey? Oh, did I fart? I'm sorry, it's voluntary. <laughs> uh, no, you you didn't toot. Thank God. Uh, what do you need? Listen, if they know I'm here, they might do something terrible to me. I don't have much time. What is happening right now? My name is Margaret Dumont, and they're always watching me. Okay. And my name is Lester G. Potchkey. Yes, I know. You already said that. Oh, right. Okay. Go ahead, McGee. It's Margaret. Tomato, potato. Have you heard of the Mattress Mafia? Sure. They were a group of friends, associates, employees, and cousins of Elvis Presley and whose main function were to accompany, protect, and serve Elvis from the beginning of his career in 1954 until his death in 1977. Not the Memphis Mafia. Come on, man. The Mattress Mafia, twice the singing voices and eight times the evil. They're the scariest cabal since Fast Eddie quit the Keebler Elves. I don't think they like being called Elves anymore. Perhaps try 
elvish humanoids. Look, I don't have much time. If they know I'm speaking to you, they'll stuff me in a mattress and send me down the river. That sounds like a dream I had once. It's not a dream. It's a walking nightmare, and they know I know too much. Shit, the salesman's coming over. Say nothing. I've got to go. Meet me tonight at Plush Nightclub. In Pillow Town? Exactly. I'll be there at 11. Perfect. I'll be there at 12. Oh, you will see me tonight, Marguerite. Here, take this. A torn mattress tag? Those crooks. These animals must have paid half off. Hmm. This is a first for me. Usually when I sleep, I dream of women waking me up, but this happened in real life, or at least I think it did. Maybe I'm wrong, but was this possible 1138 damsel in distress? Hello, sir. Thank you for waiting. How may I help you or your wife? Uh, just, well, hold on a second. Whew. Okay, no, that wasn't my wife. That was my... Back specialist. Yeah, a back specialist. You must mean a chiropractor. Uh, correct. That was Jane Lumbar herself, professional backcracker. Interesting. I thought she was still on maternity leave. So I need a chair bed for the greatest partner and assistant 120 bucks can buy or no money down for, let's say, 72 to 96 months or until you go bankrupt. How's your company's finances looking? Good, I guess. That's an awful nice gift for an assistant. You know, I too was once an assistant to an assistant. Great story. It didn't last long. I had no business sitting in his chair. It was meant for a better bottom than mine. Sometimes you just know the perfect person for the job. And sometimes people just quit unexpectedly, leaving me to invent the Amazon Fire Phone Mach 6. Well, he sounds like a real dickhead if we're leaving you. My assistant just returned and I missed him every day he was gone. He'd never leave me. Again? His time had come, I suppose. He wanted to Jerry Maguire his life. Whoever that is. <laughs> what an idiot, right? <laughs> Total ignoramus. Although, my uncle has a plan to get him back and get him his come uppings. So, I got that going for me. That's not everything. You also get to work in this amazing store. It's okay. Tim can be a bit of an end table sometimes. <laughs> Well, I've said too much, so what can I do for you? I need the perfect chair. One that adjusts according to your body, not just to the preset settings. <gasps> Have I got the perfect chair bed for you? It's called the Marlon Brando Rotun Collection. Perfect for every crevice and crumb. Perfect. I'll take it. Let's get the paperwork started. I must say, boss, either the kids of today are getting smarter, or I'm getting noticeably dumber. This Lowlights magazine maze is so hard. I can already see your problem. You did this all wrong. You need to be the wolf, not the little girl. That's your mistake. Holy shit. I don't know how I didn't see that. Evil rules. Yes, evil drools. Dr. Nonsense will see you now. Ah, very good. One moment, Smitty. I'm gonna be under for a few hours. The ship is in your hands, okay? Make sure everything stays on course. Now look, he's waiting for you. Yes, ma'am. I know, but I have my evil empire to maintain. Whatever. Boss, I will make sure our shipments of Flocksy Mountain Spring Water arrives on time. Excellent. I look forward to seeing our progress when I return. Understood, Mr. Flosky. Did, did you say Flosky? No, never. Why? Because I thought I heard you. Have a good sleep study, sir. It's nice to see you again, Harvey. I wish it was under better circumstances. How did you hear about Pochke? What? What does he have to do with my sleep apnea? Well, nothing. So, why did you mention his name? Um, our cameras caught Lester Pochke shopping at one of our stores the other day. He wanted a chair bed. Which store? Uh, Tim Couches and Chairs. Get him on the line now. I'm afraid I don't know Potchkey's number. Tim! You quack! 
Oh, by the way, did you see the results of the curling championship last night? Oh, did I? No. Oh, you missed a classic match between Quebec's Jean Sebastian Roy and uh, New Brunswick's Grand Zonishaw. Yeah, like Ali or Fraser. Roy defeated Onishaw 6-5 for the gold medal. And now I could buy that lake house I've always wanted. Good for him. And good for us, too. It remind me to tell Sean to collect our winnings from our Canadian syndicate. I know, I know, Harvey. It's not looking good. Tim, this is a major concern of ours. Guys, I know. I'm, I'm moving product around as we speak. Don't do anything. If they're on to us, they may follow the mattresses and then we're all in trouble. So what do I do, guys? I want you to continue to do business as usual. If Pochki and Nebish are sniffing around, then we're on their radar. And we definitely don't want them sniffing around our mattresses, because if they know we know they know, then we know they know we know they know that we know. And it's a win-win-win. Selling recycled or reclaimed mattresses is not why I got into villainy. Focus. We can lose a valuable revenue stream if this blows up on us. So how do we proceed? Well, I'll be out of commission. Sean will be running things while I'm here. Just have your crews keep an eye on things. I say we meet up tonight at the warehouse. I suppose I could, but I can't make it till after 9 p.m. Yeah, I'm also unavailable as well. I have plans. Both of you have plans? Uh... Hmm. Why wasn't I invited? Now, you see, here's the thing. We wanted to invite you, but you always talk through the movies. Uh, you spoiled the sixth sense for everybody. Even the ushers didn't know. Come on, it was 20 years ago. Guys, it's the Flockster. I'm a top-rated IMDB commenter. People say I'm more evil behind a comment board. Hashtag, the Flockster destroys your childhood. Uh, sorry, next time. You better. Guys, I have to go. I'll see you tonight at the warehouse. Should I bring Harvey? Who? Harvey, your nephew? Oh, Harvey, yeah, yeah, sure. Hey, Doc, don't forget the popcorn powder topping. Oh, just rub it in. Oh, the nacho cheddar is already packed. Okay, Doc, let's get me sleeping. Mrs. F said she won't return till I get my apnea in order. Okay, you're getting sleep. What? Sleepy. I won't forget the... Doctor, here's the knockout gas. It finally worked! I did it! Yay, no drugs then. Well, I'll just walk this all the way back to my station. You can be a little enthusiast, you know. Hoo-hoo! America's evilest villains. Here I come. I'm glad you called. Flockshi is going to be busy at the doctor's office all day. What is it? It's a medical facility in which one or more medical doctors, usually general practitioners, receive and treat patients. Don't talk down to me, Sean. I know where all your scars are and where to place the new ones. Okay, okay. He's in for a sleep study. Mrs. F won't come back till he sleeps through the night for once, without nearly dying of natural causes 15 to 29 times per hour. Jesus, that's bad. Sometimes I read to him to go to sleep. I don't see him as a reader. He's not. I mostly reenact his favorite movie, Turbulence. We need you to program the autopilot so it can vector you around the storm front ahead. You've got a level six storm. Wow. I love that movie. I thought you were hot before, but now I think you're giving me a little bit of turbulence and the fun kind, if you know what I mean. So, what are you going to do now? For now, nothing. Just make sure things continue to run smoothly. Are they? It could be better, but it works. What would you do different? Okay, don't don't laugh. At what? I have a plan. Oh. I love subterfuge. You know the racket we have with all the panhandlers busking for money all over the city? Sure. They annoy the hell out of me. Monroe always gives them money too. Liberal. Hours later, I circle back and confiscate it all. That's super shitty. I love it. Anyway, uh, well, did you know that some of them are incredibly talented? Like at doing drugs? No, no, no. Like piano, violin, even singing. Okay. And you know how popular talent shows are suddenly becoming right now, right? Still barely following. Well, I want to find the most talented buskers, and I want to make a supergroup out of them. Wait, what? This is your plan. You want to form a homeless supergroup. 
Not start an eviler organization hell-bent on world domination. No, 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 no. I, I freaking hate paperwork. See, it's simple. I'll call them pots and pans, and they can be replaceable, like Menuno members. Uh, you know, because they're drug addicts. The buskers. Not sure about the Menudo roster. Have you really thought this through? Did you know that Yo-Yo Ma, the famous cellist, played in the NYC subway for the hours and no one knew it was him? This is a terrible idea. It worked for Barry Gordy. I mean, I guess. Look, I can't be a henchman forever. I suppose. Well, here's to pots and pans. Shit, I just noticed the time. I, I, I gotta run. See you tonight? I, I'll have to see. I, I'll let you know. What are you looking at? Holy shit, holy shit, holy shit, holy shit, holy shit. What's wrong, Mr. Lester? Pachki, take a breath. What happened? I found this bug in my car. I think someone is trying to keep tabs on me. A bug? Uh, I think it's a tree cricket. A bug in your car? How weird and unexpected. Do you want some water or quaalude? Thank you, Agnes. Wait. You have quaaludes? Weren't they banned in the 80s? I knew a guy. He's dead now. <laughs> I'd imagine so. Oh, not from the drugs. He fell out of an airplane over the Atlantic Ocean. Uh, what is happening? Someone put a bug in Pochki's car. What? A bug? Any takers on the quaaludes? <laughs> Let's drown. No, no, we're all good. <laughs> More for me. Who would do this? And why? Hotchkey, take a breath and sit down. I'll check in with you in a moment. Sam, come here. When I asked you to test our bugs, what did you think that I meant? Well, you said to bug his car. And as our tech genius, you took that directive as, let's put crickets in his car. What? I was going to use my best arachnids. I meant for you to use the new 4G GPS tracker I purchased so we can see its range and reliability. Why would I want spiders in a car? I am sorry, Mr. Nebish. You weren't clear. Some rooms are hotbeds for critters. No, no. It's my fault. I should have been clearer with you. This is on you. I'm not done with this. Nebish, can you come in here? Coming. How are you holding up? Just a little rattle. That's all. That's to be expected. Though I will need to send Agnes out for new boxer briefs and socks of the non-white variety henceforth. But besides that, all good. Um, okay. I'll make sure she gets what you need. Just forget the bug. I know what happened. Ooh, intrigue. What's happening? So I went to the store. What store? Irrelevant! The store is irrelevant? Yes, it's new. It's called Irrelevant. They have lots of miscellaneous things. They have a pile of just left socks. Just listen. Wait, a mattress tag from Tim's Couches and Chairs? But why those fiends? Wait, I don't get it. I'm shopping at this store for a gift for a close friend. You have no friends, but continue. And everyone hates you but me, but go ahead. This woman, she approaches me all nervous-like. Her name was Maggie McGee Dumpster, I think. All probably wrong, but continue and one sold us health insurance. She says that she knows too much and they will kill her if they find out it was her. Oh my, she sounds like she's in trouble. We have to help her, but first... Yes, Nebby? What does she know, and why is this mattress tag relevant? Oh, wait. She knows who's cutting the tags off. I hate how sick some scumbags truly are. Way to ruin Tuba Shavat for me, you bad guys. Uh, I'd ease up on that Sanka there, Nebby. Anyway, she wants me to meet tonight at Pillow Town? Well, we gotta go. I tried to get more info out of her, but this annoying salesman came over yammering about Molly McGuire or some shit. I don't know. I tuned him out, and I turned, and she disappeared. She was gone. That's it. So what do we do? I have a plan. She wants us to meet at 11 or 12 tonight. It was truly unclear, but I think we follow the tags and see what we can find. We may have some answers and save her life, or... We don't, and she can't live long enough to give us a negative Yelp reveal. Hey, Sam, can you start the program up? Sure thing, Mr. Nebbish! Nebby, 
Have uh, Sam or Agnes buy some grapefruit when they go shopping again? It's on the list. This is it, 456 Fake Street. Sam was able to track this down through the mattress tag. Sam knows what she's doing. Hmm. Has she figured out who bugged my car yet? Uh, she's still figuring that out. There's some unique fluids that she needs to sort and classify. There's nothing classy about those fluids. Gross. Ah, get your mind out of the gutter. I'm sorry, Lester. It just seems like... Uh, I'll ignore that last comment. Thank you. Maybe next time, you take your sperm sample to the clinic. What are you going on about? So... I've narrowed down the suspects. It's either the owner of that laser tag place, Laser Sunday, now open six days a week. What is wrong with you? Or G.E. Smith. The former band leader of the Saturday Night Live Orchestra. Yes! Uh, it's not either of those people. Sam will find out, but it's trickier than we anticipated. Let me know when she does find out, and who did it. How many points am I away from an extra large soda? I'll see myself out. What is going on here? Hundreds of mattresses all wrapped and ready to go? You see anything? Nothing but chair beds and mattresses. Seriously? What are you doing? I may never get to search a shady mattress warehouse again. I want to remember how Hunter we are. For Hunter! For Hunter. Too loud! What? The music is too loud. I know! Turn it off! Why are you shouting? Never mind. Keep looking. There has to be something else we're missing. I bet it's drugs. Drugs, of course. Quick, give me your mini machete. It's technically called a Nakiri knife. Fine, hand over your Nakiri knife. I stole it from Nihau. <laughs> I bet there's something hidden inside these. Wait, I see something. So do I. <laughs> Look, <laughs> I'm a cat. I'm a rabbit. Please stop making shadow puppets. There is something inside here. Now, I'm an aardvark. Get over here, you stupid little ant. <laughs> okay, that's kind of great. That shadow puppet book I gave you is really paying off. But no time for that now. Keep the flashlight on me. Is that? Yes, it is, my friend. Soda can springs filled mattress. I don't understand. Whoever is behind this is recycling mattresses with bad or dangerous parts and reselling them for top dollar. It's fraud! So Marge was right. Looks that way. Hello? Oh, shit! Someone's coming. Let's get out of here. Agreed. Not now. Go away, mice. It's Harvey's naughty time. <laughs> I knew a guy named Tim Slouch back in the day, and he wasn't, if you know what I mean. Agnes, I can't. I think I might be onto something. I was onto something, too. We had sex. Found it. Here we go. Come on down to Tim Couches and Chairs for all your holiday needs. Santa may be too busy for you, but not your parents. They know how to break a mattress in. All night long. Remember, bring cash. Santa loves green, since he's not around it much in the North Pole. Ho, ho, ho! Additional fees can and will apply to all purchases. Tim Couches and Chairs is not responsible for manufacturer's claims and takes no liability for hair loss, premature ejaculation, or in some cases, death. Merry Holidays! That commercial is very confusing. <sighs> Let's see what really happened. <laughs> Surveillance camera time. All right, okay, go ahead, Mickey. Oh my god. Hey, it's Nebish. Want to hear a joke? Knock, knock. Who's there? Not 
me, so leave a message and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. <sighs> Please call me back. Please, it's incredibly urgent. I have some news you need to hear right away. Please call me back. <sighs> My God! I feel pretty and witty. Frack my life! Oh, Agnes, where are your meds? And you didn't see anyone? No, sir. I was at the movie. Uh, you two? Was I the only one not invited? Keep going, Harvey. But I left early, and when I came back, I thought I heard some voices. So, you never saw them? No, sir. Was just some mice, I guess. Let me handle this, Tim. Harvey, Potchki was in the shop this morning. And now, someone might have been sneaking around here tonight. They tore apart our Primo mattress. We lose on that deal. You lose on that deal. Really, Tim? Primo? What? We use LaCroix soda cans. You know, so we can upcharge. I stand corrected. So, what did you see? Uh, the 30th anniversary screening of Field of Dreams followed by a Q&A with the baseball choreographer. He doesn't mean what movie. And he's related to you? How? I'm sorry, I'm, I'm nervous. Harvey, listen closely. Oh, what was that for? I'm telling mom, AKA your sister. Don't you dare bother Sophia with your nonsense. And why are your pants wet? Um... <sighs> Never mind. We cannot have the Pochki Chronicles detective agency snooping around if it was them. They already ruined our mascot caper. How are they this good? <sighs> they're everywhere and nowhere, but they're somewhere, and I want to know where that is. What should I do then? After I ice my face? Jump in a lake for all I care. No, no, wait, you might actually do it. Just go back to your job as scheduled. I'm off tomorrow, it's to be schwat. Fine, after the to be schwat holiday ends. He's right though, what do we do? <sighs> you know what, just clear it out. Clear it all out. We need to change locations. Let's, let's use the old Austin Magic Pistol Toy Factory. The one below fourth at the corner of Darren and Stevens. I'll need some help. I pulled a muscle. Watching a movie. You you mean at the movies? Um, yeah. I'll pull your muscle. Well, Flotchki, it has to be done fast and cheap. Just get it done. No setbacks. Yes, sir. Tim, get your overnight crew in here now. Let's move it all out. Let's go, Harvey. Can we stop for hot dogs? Simon, get down to Tim couches and chairs now. <laughs> Now! Quit it. I I'm on my way. Please and thank you. Ten minutes or less. <laughs> Who are you with? Uh, no one, sir. That better not be one of your right swipes. Um, she's more of a super like. <laughs> oh, I'm done with this conversation. Goodbye, sir. Uh, shit, I mean, Santita. Fuck, I'm s Oh, damn you, Sean. You flustered me. My apologies, sir. Is that my gun or yours? She said what time? Uh, by midnight. Are you sure? I think so. My sundial wasn't working. It was cloudy. <sighs> yes, I'm sure. Okay, okay. Slant and Monroe should be arriving at the warehouse any minute. Terrific. This mattress mafia needs to be put to sleep. Ooh, look at you, Mr. Private Eyes. We're watching you. We see your every move. So, what does she even look like? Blondish, and I think with breasts. Blonde with boobs at a jazz nightclub. Hmm, great. Could that be any less vague? It's kind of brilliant, if you ask me. I didn't, but please explain. Hide in plain sight. If I wanted to have a secret meeting, I'd make it at the hair club for men. That's not how it works. It's not real. They fake the hair growth? I knew it! Nebish, let's add that to our case. I can see the newspaper headline, Detective Agency Caught in Hairy Situation. No, but point taken. Hide in the open. Margaret? Buzz off, loser. I think she's talking to you. 
Let's keep looking. Is that her? I don't know. It all happened so quick. Go ahead, ask her. Hello, ma'am. Chug bilavara is lama un chikain long. Lama ming ifrig. This is not where I parked my car. Good evening, madam. So? It's not her. Seriously. Next. It's Sam. Hey, you find something? Sam, I can't hear you. Punch me. Not. Sam. I think I see her. Hey, you gotta go, Sam. Can't talk. Margaret, so glad we found you. We can help. Come with us. Eat a bag of D's. <gasps> Sneak attack averted. Ouch. Sweet Neptune's net. What the hell was that for? That was for all the years I had to put up with your male gaze. Now buzz off. You're deciding to take a stand on my chin. <laughs> Way to bob and weave, Nebby. Ooh, you really took that for the team. Quick, let's go before she bruises my sternum. Or your scrotum. Well, that was a bust. Yes, I only saw a few that caught my fancy anyway. Focus, hornball. That's my Tinder handle. Why am I not surprised? So she told you here, right? Tonight at midnight? It just doesn't make sense. Yes. I don't think she meant noon. Did you ask? Are you sure? I mean, we have both made that mistake before. No, I didn't. I'll go ask the bouncer and see if he saw anything. Fine. I'll call Sam back. Oh my god, Nibish! What's wrong? I hacked the cameras at the chair shop from earlier. Excellent. Yes, it is, but... What? I'm Oh my god. I said the same thing. Are you sure? Yes. I watched an hour before and an hour after. Nothing but 60 minutes of what you see. My god. I should have remembered. Mm, is Pochki okay? Unfortunately, he is. So, what happened? Noctambulism. I didn't say botulism, I said noctambulism. What? <sighs> he was sleepwalking. Oh my goodness! Mr. Ponchki should see a specialist. I can put a list together. I hear Dr. Nonsense is quite good. At least his billboards tell me that. At my bus stop in Burrito Hut. Wrap it up, Sam. Good work tonight. I'll check in with you tomorrow. Get some sleep. Good night, Mr. Nebbish. Nebby, have I got news for you. I bet. The bouncer over there told me about this amazing Viking food place that's still open, and they've got turkey legs. Pachki, we need to talk. About what? Is my sperm count all right? Did Sam find something? I think it's better if I show you, but we have to leave now. Oh, the suspense. Are you ready? Why does Slant Monroe look like they want to kill someone? It's you. They want to kill you. And apparently, a line is starting to form. What did I do? They found the mattresses, right? Let's just go inside. No, no. After you, boys. Why, thank you, Officer Monroe. Where is everything? I, I don't understand. There's nothing here. But we saw them. I ripped a mattress open myself. All we found were crushed LaCroix cans. You are the biggest bunch of assholes I've ever seen. And I slept with Mark McGrath at Lollapalooza in 99. Ah, if I could tase you multiple times, I would be on number eight or more by now. But I promised the captain. Whoa, what's with the hostility? Why did you even send us down here for nothing? Wait, this doesn't make sense. What exactly are you saying? Seriously, look around. There is nothing here. But... I left my date for this. Well, he left me for work, but still. And you? Uh, I wasn't on a date. I was scrapbooking. No, I mean, what do you think happened here? <coughs> I know what happened. You know what happened? Well, mm... Spit it out. You've already wasted our time. Now may be a good time to speed things up. Uh, it's simple. Neb. Spit it out. They outsmarted us. Huh, I'll say. Let's go, Ro. I've had enough of these two morons for one night. Who knows what next week brings. Look, 
It was here. We're sorry for wasting the taxpayers' dollars in your evenings, but it was here. It was here, Neb. I know, Pop. And what happened to that mystery woman, uh, Mrs. Dumpsterfire? What happens to her, Neb? I'll explain it to you some other time, Lester. Let's just call it a night. <clears throat> oh, sorry. Wait, why was that blue? Let's go. Monroe, that off-track betting joint might still be open. Good night, boys. Wait, ladies. Do you, uh, feel like some Viking food? Read the room, Lester. <sighs> Let's go, bro. One sec. Maybe it was here. Maybe it wasn't. One thing's for sure, nothing is here now. <sighs> Tonight I guess the bad guys won. How the hell did we lose this? Simple, Pachki. It's Pillow Town. When your doctor tells you to get a good night's sleep, listen to him. It's not nonsense. <laughs> get it? Nonsense. Pochki learned a valuable lesson tonight. Don't sleep on criminals' motivations, and Flochki knows he got lucky, and we don't mean at craps or crabs. He got to stay one step ahead of the good guys, two steps ahead of the Dave Matthews Band, and Gimme Three Steps by Leonard Skinner is grossly underrated. So tune in next time to the ongoing adventures of the Pochki Audio Chronicles. Pochki Audio Chronicles is produced by Pochki Podcasts. Written and directed by Robert A. Palmer and Eric N. Horowitz. Editor Michael A. Weiss. Additional editing by Robert A. Palmer. Music by Kevin McLeod. Check him out on Incompetech.com. Lester Pochki and Harvey is played by Eric N. Horowitz. Nevish is played by Nathan Faudry. Tim Couch is played by Rory Zacker. Male voice, male caller, played by Benjamin M. Wong. Dr. Nonsense is played by Ryan Mountfield. Sam and Officer Slant are played by Vonnie Neal. Flochki is played by Carlos Ortega Jr. Agnes and Officer Monroe are played by Hannah Allier. Sean is played by Timothy Muller. Mysterious Woman, Sally, the nurse, is played by Stephanie Watson. Testimonial voice is Rachel Palmer. Sitting Woman is played by AI. Computer voice is played by Rob's Computer. Special thanks to Steve Bloom and everybody at Bloombox Studios. Copyright 2020 Podkey Podcast. Check out all your favorite characters and all your favorite actors on our website at www.podkeyaudio.com. Chronicles.com.